one of the first plants to begin to grow and flower is Mara macrocarpus. Doesn't have to wait for the rain. It's already got a storage facility in the soil, a huge root full of water. So it can come up in December, January, early on, even before many of the storms in Southern California will sprout up the other flowers on the hillside. Wild cucumber, member of the gourd family or the cucumber family, cucurbitaceae family. This is a monoecious plant, meaning it's got male flowers and female flowers on the same plant. The female flowers will produce the fruit. They don't look too much different from a distance from one another. This is the male inflorescence. These are all male flowers. They all produce pollen. Female flower is not on this twig. A single female flower goes with this cluster of males. So the ratio of male flowers to female flowers is way skewed. The female flower has developed this huge fruit. The male flowers are long gone. Their job is done. You can also notice the viney structure. You can see these were where the male flowers used to be. They're out of the picture. So this will never become viney like this vine structure here. This little twining structure has been frustrated. It couldn't find a twig, so it wrapped upon itself. Here's the fruit of wild cucumber. You can see it's very prickly. You can see right here where the flower used to be. It used to be a nice little white flower here, and as this matured, the flower has dried up. Mara, the genus name in Hebrew, means bitter. So people ask if this is edible, not edible, hurt the lips, and it's very bitter. A little bit painful here. Opening it up, traditionally there are four seeds inside, sometimes more, occasionally fewer. Here's one of the seeds, not mature. You can see it's very round, used by Indians as marbles for children's games. Very pulpy material. This will dry to be like a loofah sponge. Well, I'm ripping here a little bit more. I have found three seeds. Normally there's four or more. I think this one didn't quite get it all together. You can see the rather large seeds from wild cucumber. Another name for this plant is manroot because of the size of the root. Comes back after fires, uh, sprouts during drought. That huge barrel of water uh, sustains this plant in a dry, arid chaparral hillside easily. Thank you.